Welcome back, Canaanites. This week continues to look at the Ghosts of Meridian's update with a new arena map, some more wreck items, and a very special new boss. Before we dive in, however, I need to correct something from last week's issue. The new armor set, which I erroneously called Dynasty, is in fact called Dynast. Thank you to those who pointed this out in the comments. I have since added annotations to the video, but many people watch these videos on mobile, tablet, or consoles where annotations don't appear. Now, with that out of the way, let's dive into this week. We open with a look at the new arena map known as Tyrant. Set at a Forerunner facility known to humans as Zeta Hydronus Secundus, Site C, this facility was once a safe haven from the Flood, one of many carved into small planetoids. Constructed by the Minor Rate, these havens were protected by layers of hard light and exotic matter and fitted with energy projectors powered by seething natal universes. For a time, it seemed the Flood could do nothing to break the Minor defenses. Now if you've read the Forerunner Saga, you're familiar with just how scary the Flood was at the height of the Forerunner Flood War. Well, it just got scarier. To get through the defenses of these minor sites, the Gravemind, quote, grasped impossible filaments buried beneath reality by the long-vanished precursors, pulling at strands that twisted and warped real space. So yeah, it basically grabbed at the threads of reality itself, wiping out fleets of kilometer-long warships and causing walls created from collapsed star matter to crack, allowing the Flood to pour in. Those that survived the initial onslaught could do little but activate failsafes and wait for their inevitable fates. Zeta Hydronus Secundus Site C is one of the few sites that remains largely intact. Now, as terrifyingly awesome as the concept of a Gravemind bending reality itself is, I have to wonder why they didn't do this more often, why we're only hearing of it now. If I were to wager a guess, I imagine it has something to do with only a Gravemind being able to do it, and maybe it's costly in some manner that prevents the Gravemind from doing this more often. Who knows? Hopefully we can hear more about this stuff in the future. Our next section takes a look at two Gravity Hammer variants coming with the April update. First is the Corpse Maker. The sound of overloading shields, cracking bones, and shattering armor is music to Gerald Hanai ears. Improved Gravity Hammer with uncalibrated impellers that generate an unstable gravimetric vortex at the point of impact. Now, maybe I'm just misreading this, but does that remind anyone else of the Armory Commander's vortex ability in Halo Wars? I'm not expecting to see anything like that in Halo 5, mind you, but that's the first thing that came to mind when reading this. The second hammer is known as Grinder. Made of the finest materials its owner could coerce or steal. Improved Gravity Hammer with faster swing time and additional energy capacity. After that, we get a look at a very special enemy coming to the skirmish at Darkstar Warzone map, a name lore fans should be familiar with, Endurance of Will. Who is this, some of you may ask? Allow me to explain. Endurance was a warrior servant, a Promethean in fact, former lover of the Didact before he married the Librarian, and the Didact's top lieutenant in the final days of the Forerunner Flood War. When the Librarian arrived on Requiem to seal the Didact, she encountered Endurance as the last organic Promethean, though she would eventually undergo the process. Initially devoted to the Didact's plan, the Librarian was able to convince Endurance that the plan was madness, that the Didact was being influenced by the Gravemind, and that meditation in a cryptum was his only chance. After the Didact was sealed, Endurance vowed to protect her former lover and his shield world as she had been commanded, and though reluctant, allowed the Librarian to make an imprint of herself to take control of the Promethean Knights and warn future visitors of the Didact. Not long after, Endurance composed herself, joining her fellow Prometheans, in fact, it has been stated that this night here is Endurance. In 2558, during the Requiem campaign, the UNSC recovered a damaged Knight Essence, which would become the basis for the Endurance of Will Knight Commander in Warzone. The performance of this construct is closely monitored by the Office of Naval Intelligence, though the reasons why are unknown. Now that's pretty damn cool if you ask me. Fun fact, Endurance has been mentioned twice before in Halo 5 in the form of two wreck items that we've covered here before open hand, and closed fist, her two custom bolt shots. Now, depending on whether the special weapons in Halo 5's campaign are canon or not, the Endurance Essence could explain the origins of these two bolt shots in the UNSC's Warzone database. Our next two sections don't hold anything significant in terms of canon, just some winners from the recent CF snapshot and a reminder about the Arbiter and Killer Instinct. You can check out the full article if you're interested. The final section today is a community question asking about the Locust, and whether it remains in use by 2557. As it turns out, these building killers are used by Jarl Hanai raiding parties for pillaging colonies, and by Sanghili Kaidans and warlords for fortifying their local defenses. And that does it for this week. Yeah, no universe entry, but Grim promises their return next week, even teasing that we might get two. Might being the key word. 
Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.